Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's the guy for Tony here, back at again another video. Today we're going to be talking <coughs> about this in particular woman right here. Her name is Mega Playgirl. You might be asking, why am I talking about this girl? Well, I'm going to lead into a couple points here about how I believe Twitch and the people who are in control of Twitch are completely sexist. Uh, entirely sexist, in my opinion. So, this is what happened. Um, this week, this chick named Mega Playbill Girl pretty much got dicked down on stream. She sucked a big fat D right on stream. Gets her claps, uh, fucking pound, uh, her cheeks pounded and everything. And she only gets a seven day ban. Now, meanwhile, when a guy says anything inappropriate, even speaking something inappropriate, they'll be permanently banned or banned for months. Now, what I don't get is how Twitch thinks for a gaming website, it's, now remember ladies and gentlemen, Twitch is not supposed to be a porn website. It's not only fans, it's not fucking a uh, porn hub or anything. It's supposed to be a gaming website. Now explain to me, Twitch, how a girl like this can suck a D, literally, <coughs> suck a D, and get her fucking cheeks pounded on stream for potentially children to watch. And that's perfectly acceptable. But a guy can, you know, accidentally, you know, say a word that Twitch finds offensive. You know, like White Cracker, for example. Twitch. Um, and they'll be banned for months. Explain to me how this is failed, Twitch, because it doesn't make any sense to me. It seems like there was a bunch of favoritism on the platform on Twitch. These fucking cocksuckers are simping for these women, and they have no problem they get their fucking cheeks clapped in front of thousands of people because they'll give them a slap on the wrist. But if a guy does anything... And keep in mind, you know, like, I, I don't see guys, you know, like, fucking bitches on stream. You know what I'm saying? But, like, let's just say I have a guy fucking, um, I don't know, said white cracker. Because this has happened, this is a prime example of something that's happened in the past. Someone says white cracker, boom, ban. No, you know, or they'll, they'll do something, you know, ridiculous. You know, something that's not too bad. And they'll get a permanent ban. But when a female streamer does something, like a Pokemon, for example, she's been caught showing her fucking ass and pussy off on stream. Perfectly acceptable. Twitch as a platform is just fucking toxic at this point. It's awful. There's nothing but favoritism um, for female streamers. And when it comes to guy streamers, you know, they get banned for anything. And it's funny... How those female streamers out there say, oh, we have it so hard, blah, blah, blah. When in actuality, they don't. Here's the reason why. Female streamers are most likely to get more donors from male simps. Let's just be honest here, guys. It's, they're more likely to get wake up mad donors from fucking simps out there. Whereas a guy streamer actually has to have a personality. You know what I'm saying? They don't, a guy streamer doesn't go out and shake the fucking ass for fucking donor money. They actually have to be funny or actually have something meaningful to say. As a female streamer, they could go shake their ass thousands of dollars in donations. No problem. Now, in my opinion, I find that the people who gave this lady a seven-day ban should be filed. They should be. And this, this lady should be permanently banned off the platform. Twitch is not a porn website. It is never meant to be a porn website. And somehow, those hot tub streamers on there now, they literally made a, a category for hot tub streamers. How ridiculous is that? Twitch started as a gaming platform. It used to be called Justin TV, and it started as a gaming platform. And it was a gaming platform for years. Now, it seems like it's fucking shadow bait, or it's fucking, it's, it's Pornhub or something. It's ridiculous, you know? The censorship. Is ridiculous on Twitch. But the people who are in control of who's banned and who's not is ridiculous. They want to ban someone 
like Andrew Tate of all platforms, someone who just speaks to a mind, someone who actually lays down some facts, but let the, they let this chick get dicked out on stream seven day ban. Tell me how that's fail. Tell me how that's fail. It's not. It's ridiculous. I think Twitch is sexist. I really do. I think Twitch plays favorites of people. Um, Twitch can also be racist at times. It's ridiculous. And to be honest, it's a toxic platform. There's a reason why I tell people I don't stream on Twitch. It's because of shit like this. Okay? Females are way more um, put on a pedestal when it comes to guys streamers. And, you know, it's, it's ridiculous at this point. Twitch, you are a toxic platform. Everything about your website is awful. Straight up. You let this girl get dicked out on stream and you give her a seven day ban. <laughs> you wonder why people are leaving your platform. Anyways, this is the guy for 20. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Um, if you want to watch this, <laughs> you can look up the video. It's, it's on there. <laughs> Trust me, I watched it for uh, research purposes and she's getting dicked down hard. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I think Twitch is extremely unfair. I think Twitch is extremely sexist in my opinion. And uh, something needs to change on that platform because to be honest, if this keeps going, you might as well switch your fucking, you know, you might as well make your platform like OnlyFans. You might as well make your platform pull it up. Because at this point, that's what Twitch is. Anyways, this is Guy420. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Have a good one. Peace.